Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I got one more interesting problem statement. And let get me straight to that. So what we exactly have is right now it's like a line chart where we are by month we are showing the sales. So what our client has asked us that instead of just showing the line chart, he wanted that. Give me a filter that I will filter, let's say three to 10 months of a period in the slicer and it will highlight or change its color so that its focus will be like on this particular segment. And at the same time, the chart will show its whole trend. Now, the another thing he wanted, like, let's say if it is a possible that if we can just pull up this line somewhat above from the current nature. So if I select as of now, the offset is low. If I select offset, yes, it pushes a bit upside. So it clearly makes it a different portion from with respect to the uh, original line. So that was the ask is that and, and in general, you might not see this thing very common, but it helps us to just focus on a particular given period of a time and what exactly the happening. And if it, he wants to do or some one-to-one -one comparison or something like this, that can be done easily. So that is what uh, the ask is and how we can do it in Power BI, let's say Power BI easily. Uh, let's see. So first thing, the, what exactly the data that I'm using right now. So I'm using a simple sales superstore data that is readily available in the market. You can just download it then you use it in this. Now the second thing, what is we require? We require a dynamic slicer. Then we require again a dynamic slicer for let's say offset. Then we need some kind of a measure that will just trigger this particular period of data. And then uh, rest we can do it. <clears throat> so let's see. So what I can do, let me start with the axis first. We need the dates here at the bottom. So what I can do, uh, I can click, click here. Uh, let's create a calendar table first, since I do not have the calendar table. So calendar, auto calendar, this is done. Calendar table is formed. In this calendar table, what we need, we need month table, new column. this is this then we need again one more column called month name so i will just create a uh, month uh, month name format my calendar date in my this format, let's like say Jan, J, and Feb, FEB. So that's why MMMM. So this is it. So we have it. We want, if we want to create an year also, you can create it. It's as of now, I guess it's not required right now. So we have this thing. Now, what else we need? We need a parameter for this. So we go to this parameter, numeric range. <clears throat> Let me give as highlight range because it will going to highlight the given selected range. One, 12 incremental, let's have it create this and add as a slicer and do a bit of formatting for this. <coughs> then we have to go here between slicer. Let me do this slicer header. Let me select then let's make it bold background let's make it a gray background and slider also let's make it dark something like this then we have it select range of month let me have 15 center sorry divider and then what we need space this this is it let me have the visual border 
So we are done with our so what exactly we need here. Yeah. So one more thing we require here, I guess. Values background in background. Let me select the deep. So we have the slider ready. Now what we need? We need a connection between the calendar table and your uh, sales superstore data. So what I can do, order date to date. Let me have this thing, Monday Maggie to one. This is it. We are done. What else now required? In this particular parameter, we need few measures, extra measures that we are going to use here. So first, like, let's say we are whatever the value is being selected, we want that. So for this, we select highlight month value. We are going to use selected range. So we close the bracket. So we have this measure. Since whatever the selection is there, based on this selection, we will going to select the minimum minimum of a month and the maximum of the month. Let's say if I select one year, it will uh, then we need one as an output. So what we can do, I will go here, create a new measure, and I will say max month equals to max max of all selected row between my range use the bracket between my highlight my month range value this is it so let me just reconfirm these things that this measure should include my selected value <clears throat> Thanks a bit. So range value, it's there. A range value. Same for we need one more measure for minimum value. And let me do a straight. Instead of max. Min. So this is it. We, oops, my bad. We need min month so we have the max and the min month based on this selection we will get this thing now what we need what else we require here if i go here we have an offset table as well so we are going to create this offset table now so i will just click here again create new table called offset offset if we select yes then the line should move up. If we select no, there should be no, nothing should be happening. The offset is there. We have the offset table now. What else we require? So whenever we are selecting yes, so we want that to needs to be consumed. So for that, again, we need a one more measure called offset, let's say question mark. So what I can do, offset, question mark equals to selected value. So whenever I want to select any value, it will return me that value so that we can, can use in my measure. Now we are having all three measures and something like this. Now we are ready to create our chart. So for this, let me do this. Let me have the month name, this, then we need one more measure called sales super sum of sales equals to calculate sum so we are here what we need is this is what we have. Then we are slicer. We need offset. 
slicer settings since it's a tile and a single selection because either we can have an offset value either we do not have an offset value but right now if you see we are not going to make any kind of a progress in this we are not going to able to change anything what what is the reason and why it has been done we need a little bit of payment in this and for this actually what we are going to do is a something new concept called new visual calculations we are going to use here so for this particular chart if you see here we have once you click on new visual calculation go to custom and you will have the custom value here so here that one catch is there whichever measure or anything you are going to use in this it should on, always be in a, on your axis or either on your tool tool tip so what i mean by this let's say uh, let me take this let's say we have selected one to eight month and we want to highlight the one to eight month of this thing so we will create this particular measure here sorry calculation not the measure if my month is greater than equals to my min of my selected months if you see here we cannot have this particular right now we cannot see this but the moment i will add this here in my tooltip and let me try again now we can see here that we can use this particular measure here so again one less than or equals to my max month and we are good here i guess i missed something here max month power and what we need sum of sales so if it is within this range give me sum of sales let's say i have selected first to eight month then give me the sales value for some eight month i just hit enter and if you see i have for 12th we since it is out of range it is not there for one it is there and similarly if you see for 10th it is not there five it is there so this is how you can have it yeah now what else we need if you see the color has been changed here if you, for this particular i will sort it and later then it would be easy what else we need we need to create an offset also as well as we want to shift particular this range value to some extent above so that we can use it and it can be done easily we can do a simple check is like offset equals to if my offset i guess i have not done here if you see here i have not used offset here so what i can do here is like i will have this offset here if offset is equals to yes then highlight multiply by 1.1 let's say for example we are and if it is no then give me highlight value and let me do this if you see we have just increased this value by one so whenever i will select yes it will jump a bit up no let me go here it is not sorted so what i can do here is like we'll just click uh, month name i will just month name sort by month and it will be going to sort in this month since one to eight has selected it is like this and this and what i can do i can just remove this month here and if you see now it looks better now if i just select this particular thing it moves a little bit upside so let's that's what our objective is that we wanted to move whenever we select yes we just want to move up, up a bit so not but still there is one catch is there like if you see the line color it's still it is uh, not the correct version now what we can do i will just select the chart i will straight go to my line i will select my highlight and let me do white color so and still it shows me some border values so what i can do i can just increase my transparency here and it is done or we can do one more thing here let me select uh, this particular color and i can go to general effect and let me select this color so if you see now 
So whenever I select no, it will come down. Whenever I select this, it will go up. Let's say if I just do some other month, if you see, it has been shifted to year. If I select yes, it will go up. Now we want our <coughs> uh, tooltip to be there properly precise so that we can use it here. So what I can do here, I will just select my chart again. Uh, what I can do here, I will just go here and uh, data labels. I will add the data labels here. Data labels for sum of sales, I will off. For highlight, I will off. For offset, it will be there. Position above, let's make an offset of 30 so that it will be always on a higher side. And the values here, sorry, my bad. Values, let me do this. Uh, sum of sales value. So, so these are the now my correct values. Now what I can do, it's like, I have some background, this, and color this as a, no, white is, does not look good. Black looks good. Let me increase the font size. So if you see now, this is done. And it's quite easy and it looks wise, it looks better that, okay, whenever you have a, something like this, just to focus on a particular period of a time that you wanted to show and something like this. Uh, this is how you can do this and achieve this in Power BI. The only one constraint that actually this method might have in whenever that you will select a month with a maximum value, there will be a bit of, uh, if you see this shift of an access issue will be there. That is something I guess uh, that has to be done with the client and how you can take it around with this sale. So this is how you can do this. So hope are you able to follow this, this point? If you are able to follow this, this point, please like my channel, follow for more Power BI updates and follow for more interesting videos. Thank you so much.